Hey guys, welcome to another video of uh, my recap trading. So today it was a day that I actually did make money, but it was actually messy. Uh, I messed up with a couple of stuff I'm going to explain to you. So first thing first, like I said, first thing I do in the morning, I go on the gap up list to see exactly which one is gapping up. So I'm going to show you exactly which what list I had around nine o'clock. Give me just a second just to show you that. Okay, so the first one was IMMU. Uh, I didn't trade this one because I didn't like the pre-market. So I decided to go with the second one. So at 9 o'clock, 8.50, I was pretty sure that I was going to trade this one. And at around like 9.27, I was confident that it was the best play to trade today. So this one was only gapping up 11.9%. Uh, just to give you an idea, this one have actually a big market cap. We are talking about 1.59 billion. Uh, the average of volume is 32.88 million, and today it did 91 million. So it was actually the one that I decided to trade. So I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I did. I'm gonna remove that. So let's start. Okay, perfect. So first thing first, like always, I always go on the daily chart. So I went on the daily chart to see exactly where is the resistance and the support line. So when you see dots, like I said on my previous video, is my daily uh, resistance and support. After that, I went on the one minute chart to see exactly the movement on the in the pre-market, sorry. So oh, around 7.38, uh, I saw that it went to 13.40 almost, 13.39-ish. So, and it just bounced down just after that. So I marked it as a support. And uh, yeah, so what happened is that around 9.26, I saw that it was going up and I knew that I had resistance at 13.39. So when it opened, you can see the first candle, it went over my, over my uh, resistance. So I decided to short it. Even you can see on this candle, you see that buyers on the chart were in control. But I still decided to short the transact uh, the stock because on my level two, I was seeing a lot of order to sell big orders. So I still decided to sell even if on the chart here on the second candle, you see that buyers were, were in control. So you can see here, uh, first I sell at 1338 and I covered at 13.03 uh, so just this one just on this candle I made $205 and after that I don't know what I did I was my plan was going long the moment that it touched the 1271 I tried hotkeys for the first time didn't go well I tried to actually go long but I don't know what happened I ex I, I guess I clicked to short the, the stock and I went short, so I lost $56. Uh, I covered $39 and after that, just like small stock garbage or uh, honestly nothing serious. I managed to finish the day with $252. And yeah, it was actually a good day at the end, even if I messed up a couple of trade here, like minus 56. Anyways, uh, I managed to end green, $252. Uh, so it was actually a good day, uh, even if I messed up a couple of stuff. So I learned how to use the hotkeys because like I said, uh, usually I actually don't use the hotkeys. So I actually did this morning set up the, my hotkeys, like you can see. So yeah, that was for the day. And if you have any questions, leave them on the comment and don't forget to drop a like. Have a good one guys.